Hello, boys and girls. I am Miss Kim, and I am so glad you joined me today. I have a fun little story about Pete the Cat and his school. They are sponsoring a science fair. Oh, what fun. Have you guys ever had a science fair at your school? Or have done science experiments in your home school? <laughs> I bet you have. And sometimes they turn out great. And sometimes there's disasters. Well, let's just see what happens in this book. Pete the Cat and the Super Cool Science Fair by Kimberly and James Dean. Have you ever read this book? If you have it, go grab it and follow along with me. Let's begin. Pete cannot wait for Friday. His school is having a science fair. Whoa, science rocks. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. He still is in his pajamas. Pete has never been a scientist. Now he can try it out. Wow. Science is so much fun, isn't it? So there's the school. And there are all of his friends. They're getting off at the bus, too. Pete's teacher tells the students they will do experiments in groups. Pete is in a group with Callie, Gus, and Squirrel. Our experiment is going to be groovy, says Pete. What should we do? They have their paper and they're getting ready to write out their notes. Scientists make notes. <laughs> now they're brainstorming. Let's see what they come up with. Let's build a mini submarine, says Callie. That's her idea. Or grow a giant tree, <laughs> says Squirrel. Or invent an invisible guitar, says Pete. Why don't we make a volcano, asks Gus. Whoa, a volcano. Whoa, they all say. Volcanoes are awesome. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I know some of you out there have made a volcano, and they're lots of fun. The group plans the experiment at Pete's house. His mom brings them snacks. Would any scientist like a cookie, she asks. They all raise their hands. The cookies are warm and gooey. Mmm, they look like chocolate chip, my favorite. The scientists check the big book of experiments for materials. They need glue, water, newspaper, paint, and a plastic bottle for the volcano. They need vinegar, baking soda, liquid dish soap, and a secret ingredient for the lava. Ooh, a secret ingredient. What do you think that's going to be? <laughs> Pete and Gus mix the glue and the water. Squirrel and Callie tear the newspaper into strips. They cover the plastic bottle with glue and paper. It looks like a sticky white volcano. Oh no! The paint in the brown bottle is blue. What are we going to do? asked Callie. They can't find brown paint anywhere. Hmm, somebody did a switcheroo, didn't they, of the paints? But that's okay. Well, that's pretty cool, says Pete. Maybe it's okay that we have a blue volcano. We'll be the only group with a blue volcano, says Squirrel. 
Let's test the lava so we know the volcano will erupt at the science fair, Pete says. Gus pours baking soda and liquid dish soap into the volcano and Callie adds vinegar. Wow, nothing happens at first. What do you think happens? <laughs> oh my gracious. All of a sudden, a lot of lava starts coming out. Super cool, says Callie. The team high five each other, but the lava is still coming out. Soon, it is a huge mess. <laughs> Oh, Mom isn't going to be happy, says Pete. At least the scientists are ready for the fair on Friday. Well, that's for sure. What are they wearing, boys and girls, for safety? That's right. They are wearing safety goggles, aren't they? Does Mom look happy over here with the mess? Hmm. She doesn't, does she? But that's okay. When Pete and his team arrive at the fair, they see all the other groovy experiments. They all look awesome. Grumpy Toad and Octopus grew rock candy in jars. Emma and Marty made slime. We don't stand a chance, says Gus. Don't worry. We have the secret ingredient, says Pete. He has an idea, doesn't he? Wow, what could that secret ingredient be? <laughs> At the science fair, Pete's teacher loves the blue volcano. Wait till you see it erupt. Pete says. The whole class watches Callie pour vinegar into the volcano. Oh, wow. Everybody's excited. I know I am. Let's see what happens. Are you ready? A second later, glitter lava gushes out. Everyone cheers. Yay! The scientists cheer the loudest. Look at them. They're all happy and excited. Look at that lava. <laughs> what an idea Pete had to add glitter as the secret ingredient. Science experiments are hard work, says Pete, but being on an awesome team makes them a whole lot easier Look, they won a trophy. What does it say? Coolest experiment at the science fair. Whoa. <laughs> oh, boys and girls, I hope this book gave you some ideas at your science fair, and maybe you can make a glitter lava volcano. And thank you for joining me today. And remember that a good book in your imagination will take you anywhere. Until next time, bye. <music>